little something different here tonight. Saturday night special. Hi, everybody. How you doing? My name's Robin. This is me reading stuff. I've missed you. Haven't done a Saturday night bonus round in a long time, so I thought I'd check in. And as usual, I just stumbled on something I want to read. If it's not clear, I always just sort of pick whatever I want to read to you right before I record. Um... I'm always reading, so there's always something that kind of uh, lodges itself in the brain, and and I kind of keep it there and go, oh, that might be good. Oh, great. Getting text messages while I record. Amateur hour. Sorry about that, guys. All right, let's focus in. What am I going to read to you today? It's going to be quick. Just going to read you this poem and let you go about your Saturday night business. Not that any of you are sitting around checking and making sure I didn't do a Saturday night recording. Uh, My bet is that none of you are going to hear this for a while, and that's okay. By the way, I I have to celebrate this with someone, and it's going to have to be you guys. I am on the top of the literature charts on iTunes, thanks to you all uh, giving me reviews and subscribing, so I just want to quickly say thank you for that. That makes me so happy. I was in the same row as my all-time favorite radio show and podcast, Bookworm, with Michael Silverblatt, just this week. So I kind of knew something was up. I was getting a lot more downloads, and, and now I see why, because somehow I'm getting, um, I'm getting notice on iTunes. And it's obviously 100% thanks to you all, the listeners who have taken the time to subscribe and review the podcast. I cannot say thank you enough. But moving on, uh, I'm going to read to you a poem by Cheslav Milosh. I can't believe I haven't read this yet. I, I make it sound like every poem I love has uh, spent some time pinned to my studio wall, which is kind of true. This one was on there, I would say, for the first eight years of me being a professional artist doing this full time. Um, and it is song of the uh, song, sorry, song on the end of the world. You can get it in the new and collected poems put out by Harper Collins. Uh, Milos is considered a Polish poet. He was born from, he was born in 1911, lived to 2004, Nobel prize winner and someone you just want to probably look into if you don't already know him. And this poem You know, for a long time I worked with images of the apocalypse, so I'm sure that was part of the reason that I loved this poem at the time. And now, as I get older, it's not so much the apocalypse I think about, it's uh, more death and the end of my own life. Uh, So, well, I don't know if that makes any sense. That, That sounds like the same thing. But no, it doesn't. What am I... I don't know, you guys. I'm just saying my tastes have changed significantly. My... Everything. My impulses have changed. I I am someone who has changed a lot in the last couple of years. And so it's funny that this maintains its place in the list of some of the poems that mean the most to me, even though I don't read it in the same way I used to at all. And I know that's also natural. I'm just basically here to state the obvious every day for you. Apparently that's all I do. I'm not good for much else. I read you a poem that hopefully you like, and then I just say a bunch of uh, idiotic, obvious things. (laughs) Thank you for tuning in. Okay, so here we go. Cheslav Milos, Song on the End of the World. <coughs> Sorry. I'm a mess. I'm falling apart right here on the podcast, and I'm, I'm not hitting pause for it. You're going to have to live, it, live through this with me. Feel my pain. All right, that wasn't the poem. Here we go. On the day the world ends, a bee circles a clover. A fisherman mends a glimmering net. Happy porpoises jump in the sea. By the rain spout, young sparrows are playing, and the snake is gold-skinned as it should always be. On the day the world ends, women walk through fields under their umbrellas. A drunkard grows sleepy at the edge of a lawn. Vegetable peddlers shout in the street, and a yellow-sailed boat comes nearer the island. The voice of a violin lasts in the air and leads into a starry night. And those who expected lightning and thunder are disappointed. And those who expected signs and archangels trumps do not believe it is happening now. As long as the sun and the moon are above, as long as the bumblebee visits a rose, 
As long as rosy infants are born, no one believes it is happening now. Only a white-haired old man, who would be a prophet, yet is not a prophet, for he's much too busy, repeats while he binds his tomatoes, No other end of the world there will be. No other end of the world there will be. And that's that, you guys. We're done here. I'm going to let you enjoy your day. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate your feedback. Remember, you can always come fuck with me on Instagram or Twitter. My handle there is R-O-B-Y-N underscore O-N-E-I-L. I prefer to be contacted there more than anywhere else. So deal with it. Are you um, listening? All right, you guys. I got to get back to business uh, earlier this evening. Um, someone who lives downstairs from me said that he caught two people having sex in our parking garage. And he's really concerned about it. So we're going to look into that. I'll keep you updated. You guys have a good rest of your weekend. Thank you for tuning in. And thanks again for all the reviews that helped me get on the iTunes charts. I am so happy about that. I'm happy that anyone's listening to this. Even if there are only three of you that are listening, you just made my year, really. This has been the greatest thing I've done this year to start this podcast. For me, it fulfills me in a way nothing else ever has. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys take care. I'll talk to you Monday. Bye.